What does it matter that more than 100,000 civil servants have been added to Ottawa since Justin Trudeau became Prime Minister? Hold on, we're going to find out. But first, please, as you know, subscribe and make a donation. Keep us on the air. Jay Goldberg is with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation and works on this because the cost of government has just gone sky high. And we know they all have good salaries. We all know that they have golden uh, pensions. So what's the matter with having government pay for government to pay other governments to it just sort of rotates itself? They're all great jobs. Well, listen, the size of the number of people that are working for the federal government has increased by 40 percent since 2015. And as you said, that's about 100,000 employees. Now think about well, how much they're the helping those employees. The government will tell you, those employees, we hire them to help you, to help you, to help all these Canadians have a better life. Well, listen, we're now spending $70 billion on their salaries. And I think if you ask Canadians, are we getting a much better, more efficient uh, government with better service at the CRA or wherever else than we were nine years ago? I think most people would say no and would question where the heck did all these tens of billions of dollars go when you have the same uh, unfortunate delay service at the federal level that we had before. I think if you ask anybody, are you better off in terms of government service delivery than you were nine years ago? Nobody's going to say, yes, it was worth hiring an extra 100,000 people. Well, I think you're absolutely right. And there is a company uh, in the private sector, Bayer, that just wiped out a lot of its bureaucrats. And had, over the years, so many rules have been made internally. They say, we can't get anything done. Is that happening with government? Because I sense that when you couldn't get a passport two years ago, even though there's piles of people, exactly. you're not getting anything done. It is happening with government. You're not getting things done. And look, there's a finite amount of money that we can spend. And so if you want to go out and hire Wait a more second, nurses. a finite amount of money. And we just go borrow more, have more government civil servants. Well, without going broke, there's only so much money you can spend. The Trudeau government is certainly trying to get us closer to that point. But when we, when you have government spending and you're spending $70 billion on salaries for government employees, think about what we could do instead. The nurses you could hire, the additional doctors we could attract to the country, lowering taxes, investing more in healthcare, all of these things we can't do because we're paying for bureaucrats, not folks on the front lines, but bureaucrats, 100,000 more of them, and we're getting really nothing as compensation. Now. This is not exactly economic, so when you have all those people looking to do good things for other people, some of them are, um, is there something called liberty which also is getting you know, strangled? Like well, there that? is. There is. All these extra people from the government have to do something, and what they're doing is coming after Canadians and, and not delivering the services that we need. They want to control Canadians. They want to control Canadians. We've seen it from the Trudeau government in every facet, from C-11 to online harms to all kinds of different ways. The government is trying to control your life. Jay Goldberg, I think you're absolutely right. Thanks very much. Three minutes. This show provides independent analysis of the issues. We are not paid by the government. And as I am finding, so much business in Canada relies upon various governments that they don't want to sponsor or advertise on a show which may become controversial, which talks about liberty, freedoms, sometimes criticizes government. I've had guests on that support the government. But people are saying, you know what? We don't want to bite the hand that feeds us, i.e. government, which is why I hope you'll subscribe and contribute to keep this show on the air.